Hey everyone, Rodev here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to teleport a player with a proximity prompt. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to be lazy, and I'm just going to use the spawn location as my part, and I'm going to put an attachment in here. So I like to put my attachments or my proximity prompts inside attachments, uh, which are apparent to the main part. This, uh, I just read it on the dev forum, so I'm going to do it like this. So basically... Uh, for the proximity prompt, you don't really have to name it, and you can just put a script inside. And in the script, we're just going to name it, so, teleport players. And basically in here, what we can do is do local prompt equals script.parent, and then we can do local uh, pps equals game colon get service proximity prompt service and then now we can put our place id so local place id equals uh, i'm going to write nil right here is where you would put the id of the place you want to teleport to uh please note that this will not work in studio because first of all uh how would it look if you teleport to a game in studio and second of all i think that's the reason that roblox explicitly says that you cannot do it inside studio. So make sure you publish your game and try it out in a real game. So now what you want to do is go ahead and type pps.prompt triggered colon connect function. And then inside these uh, two brackets, you want to type, uh, let's do P and then player. And what this gives us is the prompt that was triggered and then the player that triggered it. So what we do is we do if p equals equals prompt, prompt is the script's parent, so this proximity prompt right here. So if the prompt that was triggered is the same as uh, this prompt right here, then we move forward, meaning that the player wants to be teleported. And now what we do is, I forgot one thing up here, local t tps for teleport service equals game, colon get service, teleport service. And now what we do is tps colon teleport a sync and we can actually do some reading about it never mind uh, in here you just want to do place ID comma player and let me quickly check because I don't want to have an error here the place ID the player and then any teleport options which we don't need right now so uh, once you have this done the only thing you guys need to change is NIL nil right here which basically means nothing and just change that to whatever ID of the place you want to teleport to. So once you're done that, you, you can go ahead and uh, close off the script. I'm just going to do print teleported here. And hit play just so I can see. Because I won't be able to teleport in studio. And as you can see, uh, there was an error. So basically this error is because we need to pass through a table. So we're just going to put two brackets outside the player and then go forward with it and if I hit E argument argument 1 missing or nil that's because the argument 1 is nil right here so obviously it would teleport you uh, do note that it's not because the code isn't working if the teleport takes a while it's because it's just Roblox, Roblox is like that so what I do is I recommend having like a GUI uh, pop up saying loading or something like that so other than that it's Rodev I'll see you guys in the next one uh, before you guys go make sure you hit that like button uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. It's sort of peace. Favorite color, money green. Paper. I've been on my grind since I was in the seventh.